Welcome to Humanities. My name is Andrew Sweet, I'm the Head of Humanities at Millfield Prep School. Over the course of their time at Millfield, our students are given a variety of different ways in which they can understand and make relevant the world around them. We study the past, through history of our local community, as early as the IPC, as well as geography and religious studies. One of the things we're very fortunate to have in Somerset is the opportunity to work throughout and with our local community. We're very fortunate that our geography department is very experienced and has an opportunity to actually benefit from all the great um, geographical features and sites that we have within our local area. There's a real strong emphasis on making sure that students understand the importance and relevance of the subject and we uh, study from uh, IPC a thematic approach weaving in geographical themes that is built upon in year seven with map work, local studies and in year eight students are studying in-depth uh, Lulworth Cove, the erosion and creation of coastal features. In history, in year seven and eight, we have uh, an opportunity for students to engage with medieval and early modern histories. Our students study a five lesson inquiry. They begin uh, with an understanding of what history actually is and then build on that with studies of the Anglo-Saxon and Norman periods in year seven. And in year eight, we look at the higher middle ages, focusing in on the Black Death and uh, completing the course with a view to looking at Henry VIII. Our students also have a chance to visit historical sites and also ask lots of good discussion questions and build on their extensive ability to research and to be independent as learners. Our students have one prep uh, in year seven every fortnight and uh, a prep per week in year eight. Students will have uh, an opportunity to present their prep in a variety of different ways. And we really do use our online platform, Shobi Classroom, really successfully in humanities in order to provide students with the scaffolding they'll need to complete their work, whether it's at home or in prep club. One of the things we're very fortunate to have within the humanities department is every student comes into class with their own iPad. And we try very hard in each classroom to provide digital opportunities for students to learn online. One of the things that we've done in the past has been to uh, experiment with virtual reality uh, and uh, students have been able to be transported using VR goggles to locations around the world in Egypt, um, also uh, in other countries where students have a chance to see and to experience history on, in and around, as well as history that's on the doorstep. All of the subjects within humanities provide a trip for students and some of the most successful ones we've had have been Year 8 trip to Lulworth, which takes place in October. That's a geography field study involving all the students. We also have the opportunity uh, in the summer for Year 7 to visit Chepstow Castle, where they do a site visit and analyse lots of ways in which the castle was used and defended as well as attacked. And in RS, we have run, certainly in the last year, a very successful pilgrimage of Glastonbury where the students literally have a chance to access and to visit lots of different uh, religious sites in and around their community. Class sizes vary uh, through year seven and eight. They can be upwards of about 14 or 15 students and as small as eight, nine or 10 students. We have are uh, very fortunate to have uh, individual classrooms for each one of our subjects and our students um, are able to learn not just in the classroom but we also have space outside for open classrooms as well. 